the Veterans Medals Workshop. I'm your host, Frank Foster. And, and today we're going to take a look at the 9th Infantry, the old reliable division, World War II Veterans Shoulder Sleeve Insignia, or patch, their crest, the basic medals that they earn, and all of the unit awards of the 9th Infantry Division. 9th Infantry Division was activated in August of 1940 and entered combat in November 1942 when it landed in Algiers, initially against French resistance. That ended shortly, and then after that, it was Algiers, French Morocco, Tunisia, Sicily, Normandy, northern France, Rhineland, Ardennes, Central Europe, 304 days of combat, over 23,000 casualties, 24 distinguished unit citations, four members of a division earned the Medal of Honor, and over 75 earned the Distinguished Service Cross. So let's take a look at what the officers, non-commissioned officers and men of the 9th Infantry Division earned during their combat in 1942, 43, 44, all the way up to 9 May 1945. Because one of the questions that I receive more frequently than any other is how do I find out the medals and military honors that my dad or my granddad earned when fighting in Europe in World War II? We'll look at the military ribbons they came home with, and we will show you the medals that they are authorized today. We'll take a look at the campaigns they participated in by date, and we'll provide you with a reference below on that. We'll take a look at the major unit awards that they earned and the dates they earned them, so you can have that as a reference below. And then we'll take a look at the medals that every soldier who served in World War II in the European theater would have earned. And we'll look at the difference in the medals that a combat infantryman or combat medic would have earned as opposed to an artilleryman or a supply sergeant. I think you'll find it very interesting. And it should answer almost all of your questions. And we'll try to provide all the references that you need to check on down below. Okay, come on, let's go. The shoulder sleeve insignia of the 9th Infantry Division shown on your left is an olive drab disc about two and a half inches in diameter, overall charged with a double quadrifoil horizontally divided into two equal halves, red uppermost and blue at the bottom and a white center. The double quadrifoil is a heraldic mark for the 9th sun and has been made red and blue the designating colors of the Infantry Division Headquarters flag, and the white center is the color of the numeral for the divisional flags. The shoulder sleeve insignia was originally approved for the 9th Division in November 1925 and redesignated as the 9th Infantry Division in August 1942. The World War II distinctive unit insignia or crest of a division is a replica of a division patch in enamel as shown above the 9th Infantry Division's new distinctive unit insignia, which was redesigned in 1966 to reflect the division's World War II history. It's a metal and enamel insignia well, with a gold disc charged with a blue fluid de and radiating nine gold rays, all but the one at the top center contained by a red crescent. The high points of the 9th Division World War II history are represented by the Red Crescent for Tunisian campaign, the nine rays of the sun denote the unit's numerical designation and likewise refers to the campaign in Sicily. The gold disc in the center is for Central Europe and the fluid lives reflect service in northern France. Returning home at the end of World War II, a 9th Infantry Division soldier would have put his patch on the right sleeve to indicate combat service with a division. I should point out that some of the World War II patches being over 75 years old will look a little faded like the one on the left. This example shows how the division distinctive unit insignia would have been worn on a lapel of the uniform jacket. The tip of a spear for the 9th Infantry Division was her three infantry regiments. And shown here are the crest of the 39th Infantry Regiment, to the right, in the center, the 47th Infantry Regiment, and on the far right, the 60th Infantry Regiment. Shown here, an infantryman displays the crest of the 47th Infantry Regiment on the lapels of his jacket. The 9th Infantry Division earned eight campaign stars, as shown here, 
one silver star, which counts for five bronze stars, and three additional bronze stars. So you would have one silver and three bronze stars, plus an hour ahead for the landing in Tunisia. Not every member of the 9th Infantry Division would have earned all eight campaign stars because with 23,000 casualties, you can imagine the turnover during the 42 through 1945 period. The 9th Infantry Division earned over 24 Distinguished Unit Citations, or now Presidential Unit Citations, during the war, and I've listed them in detail below. <laughs> Special thanks to Medals of America and Fountain in South Carolina for providing all the medals and badges that you see in the show today. And if you enjoy these shows, please give us a like and subscribe. That will keep us on the air. So, and give us your feedback in the comments below. Okay, let's keep going. Most 9th Infantry Division veterans came home with the ribbon shown on the top, a good conduct medal, which was authorized for one year's service during World War II, the American Campaign Medal, which was authorized for 30 days or more service in, while they were doing their training in the United States, and then the European Capricorn Middle East Campaign Medal is shown in the center, in this case with a our ahead for the Tunisian landing and three campaign stars and then the victory ribbon. Now, each veteran would have a different number of campaign stars on there. Uh, those members of a division who joined when it was activated in 1940 would additionally have the ribbon shown on the bottom row, and that includes the yellow ribbon, which is the American Defense Medal. Actually, the Good Conduct Medal and the American Defense Medal were available during World War II. So let's look at the three medals that were not available to our veteran until after World War II. The medals for these ribbons didn't become available until 1947 or 1948. They weren't even designed and hadn't been struck until then. And then the veteran had to apply to have them issued. So the three standard medals for an officer would be the American Campaign, the European African Middle East Campaign with appropriate campaign stars, and the Victory Medal. On the enlisted side, the Good Conduct Medal was authorized for enlisted men after one year's service. So as we say in the South, most probably every one of the enlisted personnel would have had a Good Conduct Medal, but not all of them. So the basic medals for a 9th Infantry Division soldier are shown here. The Good Conduct Medal, American Campaign, the ETO Medal with the appropriate campaign star, the Victory Medal, is Marksmanship Badges, and is Presidential Unit Citation. And I'll show you those 24 Presidential Unit Citations below. Every soldier in the 9th Infantry Division was required to qualify with his assigned weapon. And starting in the upper left was the expert rifleman and the expert carbine. Down in the lower left was the sharpshooter. And then on the right was the marksman qualification. And each qualification badge had an individual qualifying bar. By the way, there were a lot of weapon systems that an individual could qualify for. I want to know more about Army marksmanship badges, there's a separate video available for you, and I think you'll enjoy it. Every soldier assigned to the 9th Infantry Division that remained in Europe for 30 days past 9 May 1945 would have been authorized the Occupation Medal for Germany, as shown here. A veteran of the 9th Infantry Division who remained in Europe for more than 30 days after the Germans surrendered on 9 May 1945 would have a display looking like this. Here's where it gets very interesting because in 1947, General Marshall decided that the award of the Bronze Star had not been sufficiently given to combat infantrymen and combat medics. So he authorized every recipient of a combat infantry badge and combat medical badge, the Bronze Star Medal for Meritorious Service. Now, there are two types of Bronze Star Medals, one for Valor, which has a V affixed to it, as shown on your left, and one without a V device, which is awarded for Meritorious Service. So a combat infantryman or combat medic at the end of World War II would be authorized six medals by 1947. The Bronze Star, the Good Conduct Medal, the American Campaign, the ETO, the Victory Medal, and the Occupation of Germany Medal. Over 23,000 Purple Hearts were awarded to members of the 9th Infantry Division during their war years of 1942 to 1945. 
So a combat infantryman or a combat medic, which also earned the Purple Heart, would have a display of the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, Good Conduct Medal, and the other campaign medals that I've shown you earlier. Actually, let's say a medic who became a combat medic and joined the division in 1940 when it was organized at Fort Benning could be authorized up to eight medals as shown here. The Bronze Star, the Purple Heart, the Good Conduct Medal, the American Defense, American Campaign, the ETO with appropriate campaign stars, the Victory Medal, and the Occupation Medal. So if you were going to put together a display case of a 9th Infantry Division World War II Veterans Medals, here is a good example. It uses the veteran shoulder sleeve insignia, his 9th Infantry Division shoulder pack, his branch of service insignia, his rank insignia, his decorations and service medals with appropriate campaign stars or even commemorative medals, his shooting badges or qualification badges, his honorable discharge pin, and a brass plate that has the dates of his service. So when the 9th Infantry Division veteran came home from World War II, he most likely was wearing three or four ribbons, when in actuality we've shown you that he could be authorized up to five, six, or even eight medals. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, please give us comments, or even better, a like or subscribe. That'll keep us on the air. And don't forget, all of the campaign credits and all of the unit award credits are listed below. So, see you next time on Veterans Medals Workshop.